back and better than ever and i'm a day late and a dollar short i'm so sorry but here we are with video number four today's video is an extreme q a you guys asked some quick crazy ass questions and i promised i was going to answer them all however there was a lot so i maxed out at 29 my hand got tired at 29 so that's what we're doing i promise to tell the truth nothing but the truth and the whole truth shout out to my friend khalil he's gonna be reading out these questions Woo, khalil. Wait, it you can say hi go ahead <laughs> well, we got something special for y'all today, man. <laughs> a day and a dollar shirt. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, I never heard nobody say that before. <laughs> Relax, chill on me. So without further ado, let's just get into these questions. What's your favorite movie? Nightmare Before Christmas. Why? Because why not? Do you still talk to Devon J? No. Straight to the point with these questions, we are. I are. Are you single? Yes. Do you miss Devon? No. <laughs> Do you miss D? And would you ever be cool with him again? Do I miss who? Devon. <laughs> oh. Do I miss D? And would I ever be cool with him again? I do not miss him at all, actually. Um, if you're watching this, no drama, nothing. You know, we've moved on. It's been years. But no, I do not miss him. And what was the second part? Uh, would you ever be cool with him? Would I ever be cool with him again? No. There's just nothing left to be cool with after so much was done. That was a lot. Yeah. Is your coochie pink and is your booty hole brown? Nice, nice, you red set. Duh. <laughs> There's not much getting into depth with that one. How did you and uh, Thalia fix things? So as you guys know, Thalia is my sister. We stopped talking for a while. We got into some big family drama. Uh, we started talking again because one day my dad well, I was sitting in my room just eating, you know, minding my business. I knew Thalia was at the house, but you know, we don't talk to each other. So I was in my room with the door shut. And then as soon as I sat down, got the food ready, my show plane, go take a bite. My dad just like pokes his head in and I'm just like, hello. And then I see her head poking. I'm like, hello. My dad kind of like, and yeah, we ended up talking and fixing everything that day. So thanks dad. Whole sister. It's my whole sister. Okay. We had a little bit of lost time, but we're back. Was Polo your boyfriend? No. You believe that? that? Just... <laughs> he was not. <laughs> Do you regret your relationship with Divine? It's a valid question. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I knew they were going to ask a lot about Divine, honestly. I don't regret the relationship, but I do regret how far I let it go. Like, it should have ended a lot sooner than it did. That I regret. But I don't regret the relationship. Did you love Divine? Of course. <laughs> Name three turn off. Three turn off, bad hygiene, um, cocky like energy, like I'm him, you not him. And um, low like um, ambition, like no ambition, no goals, no drive. Like you just okay with being okay. How are you doing mentally and physically? I feel great mentally and physically. I can feel like I'm pushing 30, but I still feel young and ready to go. How much to sign my name on your tits? Honey. Signing your name on my tits is crazy. You're going to have to spend a bag. Yeah, you're going to have to spend a couple bags because that's crazy. So, you know, hit me with the offer and I'll say yay or nay. Have you spoke to Jay lately? Even though you're healed, do you check in from time to time? No. We do not speak to each other at all. We do not check in. Last time he called was months ago and he apologized for, like, everything that he did and, like, went into detail on his, in his apology about how he was wrong. But um, I told him it's cool that we can move on from it, but that doesn't mean like we're friends and that we're gonna talk ever again. So we do not check in on each other. Do you ever think you would collab with Devon again? No. I actually got offered to do a video with him by somebody else not that long ago, and I said no. They were trying to offer me money and everything. I was like, no, 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 no. Now, if it was on my own terms, like, if I really wanted to sit him down and really ask him, like, questions about what the fuck, like, happened between us and, like, what, like, what he did, then I would be open to it because it's on my terms, but nobody else's. When was the last time you cried? Honestly, I don't cry often, so I can probably, I think it was July. June or July, something happened to me. It broke my heart. It was pretty sad. What happened? I'm not going into detail about that. I just know I cried, and I don't cry. I thought the 
people want to know. I mean, the people don't need to makes, know everything. What makes I cried. Cry. All you asked was when did I cry, and I explained yeah. when, when I cried. Are you in a relationship? No. Uh, do you have your eye on somebody? Sometimes. Sometimes I have my eye on him. Sometimes I don't. It depends on how I wake up that morning, how I'm feeling. Okay. Um, when are we going to get a new song? Coming soon. I just need to work on my cover art, but it's dropping within the next couple of months. What do you value most in people? Uh, probably their loyalty because like my loyalty is so strong when it comes to my friendships, relationships, anything. So I just expect the same in return. I think that's why I get let down so often too, to be honest. Who knows you the best and why? Definitely Berlin. And I, she just knows me without me even, I don't know, that's my BFF. So I think Berlin just knows everything without me having to tell her. She can like read me. What's the hardest you laughed? Off the top of my dome, the hardest I've ever laughed. Okay, so I was in the car with my friend and he was driving and it was Halloween time. And I put spider webs on my like um, windshield in, in the window wiper thing. But it wasn't raining when I did it. And then we got on the highway and it started pouring and he turned on the windshield wipers and the, the webs went all over it and it was really bad. And he was cursing me out and I was just sitting there laughing at him. And he was like, this is the dumbest shit anyone could have ever did. And I'm just laughing. Little do I know he can't see the road. He could kill us right now. So I had to go out the window and try to pull the web off. What made you put it on the windshield because, in the first place? Because it looked cool, spread out. Like it ha I had to put it on the wind windshield wiper and the hood of the car so it spread out like a pretty... Point is, we were about to die and go off road and I was just sitting there laughing and he was so mad and like, I never laughed that hard. Like it was just so funny and he was so mad. I think that made it even funnier. <laughs> But we survived. We pulled over. I took it off. We got back on the road. Oof, next question. Oh. Would you rather hold on to someone who's bad for you or let them go and fill the void? You need to get in contact with whoever's asking this question. <laughs> um, uh. I'm going to have to be brutally honest here, and it might just make me look bad. But I don't want to fill that void. So I feel like I would hold on to that person until, like, I can't hold on to them any longer. Like they would have to just completely cut me off in order for me to let go. But if they're not fully letting go, I'm probably not gonna fully let go because I'd rather have them in my life in some way, shape or form than feel like that emptiness from them not being there. You know? Uh, what lie do you tell yourself the most? It will be different this time. I feel like that's why everybody tells themselves often and the most like, let me try again. This time's gonna be different and you just get the same outcome every time. But with people, it's like, you just wanna keep giving them chances because you love these people and you think that they're gonna do better. And it's like, well, they didn't do better. Oh, well, that's, that's the last one. That was, that was all 29? I don't know. Do you have any questions you wanna know? You have a real spot? Uh, I, mean. I think we have to touch base on everything. Well then, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope that um, this Q&A clarified some things. I know some of the responses under there wanted more details about me and the vine. And I don't know how I'm gonna give that to you guys because it's still like a hard topic to talk about, but I know you guys want it because I went silent after all that happened. Like I probably only dropped one or two videos going into detail about what really happened, the breakup, all that stuff. Cause I was going through it, honey. And then by the time I was fully healed and ready to talk about it. It was like, there's no point in talking about it. Does that make sense? Now you guys are asking all over again and it's been like three years. So I think that's enough time that I can talk about it. Well, yeah, that's all I got for today. Shout out to Khalil for reading out the Q&A questions. Bye bitches. Bye.